What's up? Welcome back. At this one, we're taking a look at a fully functional Minecraft villager trading hall that's designed as a basketball court. I mean, look at our villagers. They're literally positioned in a triangle offense. This is how you do it. Now, for those of you who want just the basic how to build this basketball court, here, just click pause. You can copy the build block by block, although you're going to want to extend this by one block. That makes the court an equal design. But yes, if you want more of the details, and of course, for our villager homies, you know me, we have to do a little bit more. And so for that, I'm going to real quick break down how this works and how we can build basketball court creative villager trading halls like this and other houses or skyscrapers by using the villager pathfinding mechanics let's talk about villager schedule mechanics and the zombification structures we need to get the best trades and still have our villagers in a basketball court i mean it's literally look it's the shepherds versus the armorers and so we got an s it looks like the seattle krakens from my hockey fans go red wings although this is a basketball video uh now nah, but the point is white jerseys versus the dark i mean we're talking all the different factors shepherds pushing for the w all right that's enough happy march madness and let's talk first villager schedule mechanics and to do this we're going to hop into our villager homies schedule mechanics example world now if you don't know what a tick is in minecraft basically there's 24,000 ticks in a minecraft day it's just a daily cycle of the sun setting and rising you're actually going to see villagers positioned to all these different objects based on the cycle okay so 12,000 is zero as you just see we just hit zero ticks the villagers are sleeping right so they'll path line onto a bed at that time from the time the villagers wake up and until 3,000 ticks, which is right about here, the villagers are in what's called casual social time. Now, casual social, they just hang out by a bed and they talk to each other. Compared to the bell, which we'll talk about in just one moment, they hang out together. So, until then, 3,000 to 9,000 ticks is the villagers' work period. That's when you see them pathfind onto the profession tables, all those different professions we know and love from the clerics to the uh, enchantment, uh, 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 librarians. And that's when you can do all your trading, that sort of thing, the two trades per day, as we all know and love with the villager homies. But, the most fun, most exciting, and what I had to find out on my own was that from 9,000 to 12,000 ticks, the villagers enter again that group social time, which is around a Minecraft bell and is where we can do all there's our favorite green particles it's where and how we can make all the fun and crazy structures that literally the villagers will move throughout and participate in so like from here and the loop resets but if we go to 12,000 ticks you'll see they pathfind onto the bed it's also the best time to move them onto a bed that sort of thing and the different blocks at the different time periods make that all the difference so once again if we go let's say let's jump to 10,000 they're in that group social they'll go back to the bell and if we're jumping to a work period then 3,500 until 9,000, they'll go back to their profession table. So that's just the general, you know, in case you didn't know on the villager schedule and that sort of thing. And I'll attach a world download to this down below if you want to check it out in detail yourself or have it as a reference. But yes, the villager schedule for the villager homies is so amazing. And again, it allows us to build structures for them, such as houses or the mini puzzle for that. And to walk through part two, we're going to go to the Crossroads Season 1 Survival Minecraft World and Test Area. If you don't know what Crossroads is, it's a survival server we all play on you should check it out i'll link some videos in the description down below but yes that's where i was building the puzzle and this is another video design once again if you're interested in learning i don't know what people know about villagers or if they love building for the villager homies like me you know what i'm saying but if you do want to see more ideas like this one behind me then let me know in the comments down below or like the video or dislike can you even dislike videos on youtube i don't even know nowadays now but the point is that lets me know what you want to see and the point of being here on the test server is this is a project that worked on was working on a video but as you can see it has all of our zombification steps those would be a villager breeder which in this case is a farm and the villagers sleeping area the zombification room and then the drop-off area and then the villager trading hall like the librarians right here or the clerics in the mountainside right here in the different blocks that integrate with them like the bells right here and aside from the bells we have their beds back up here all fully functional for the villagers to maneuver throughout this environment and that's how we can build these fun structures but just so you know how to optimize these projects for your villagers with not just the basketball court but all of your projects we're going to use the mini cliffside puzzle as an example because it has all these parts and so the breeder right here our breeder is just your usual minecraft breeder actually i kind of position the carrot farm down below and this is how i like to do it for a breeder we obviously need our beds and food and the food has got to be carrots or potatoes and so i have a carrot farm i'm going to link the video down below in the description i use logical geek boys He's got quite a few awesome carrot and potato farm villager breeder designs. Once they have that in the beds, they'll start breeding. I like to then have this room over here, in which case we can pop through. 
We can spawn in carrots with that lever, open the switch with this one. The switch and the lever activates the trap doors, in which case they'll fall into this water stream. From that water stream, they come into this chamber, another feature of a logical geek boy design. From here, we can pull one villager from this area, drop them here and set their profession. And then we can move those set profession villagers into our next area, which is of course our zombification Bob area. What's good, Bob? How you doing? These are more deconstructed designs from Logical Geek Boys Villager Trading Hall. That's what I've based these separate rooms off of because he's got awesome designs, Logical Geek Boy. Appreciate you, appreciate you. But from here, we can convert them. Bring them back up and, of course, heal them and go through that whole process. That's going to get our trades perfect. And so once he's healed up, we just have a drop-down area into the rest of the villager trading hall as we enter floating head mode. And from here, we have our villager trading hall areas and our bell area so that they can move throughout as well as our beds for them to walk up. So they can move throughout the entire place. And yes... That's how we do it. Look at floating head mode, man. Floating, floating head, head mode. mode. Nah, 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 nah. No, but yes. That's how I always go about doing it. And so, for example, here on the basketball court, back at the survival vlogs, Minecraft Villager Homie City is the same thing, just a little bit different creative design. We would just make an offshoot of the rail right here, an extension, and drop out for Villager Homies right here. In which case, we can run through the cycle real quick as we wrap up this video. And so go nighttime, where the Villager Homies will sleep. That's the only thing I couldn't get. I couldn't get each team to separate and go onto the beds with their respected their team benches. On the sidelines but they look up and enter group social that's just a basic social and then they also have work period where they'll enter that triangle offense right here all of them moving to the profession tables because they can be in the ground and they're moving on top of them that sort of thing oh i can't get over it look shepherds right here we got a point guard running point oh okay center moving up a little bit a little power forward swings it to the far far side he's going for the switch it to 9500 they'll enter the group social in which case they'll pivot to the other side of the court here boom bam pow to the bell we have on the far side and it looks like you know they we can't organize their offense on the bell but either way and then once again to nighttime here and giving them that fully functional villager aspect if they're zombified they're just as efficient and that's it happy michael jordan year happy march madness thank you all for coming let me know if you have any questions in the comments i'll try and answer them and make a video if you want me to let me know that in the comments too all right that's it for this one though and yeah thanks for coming he's gonna swing it to the far right and then we got jordan taking the shot oh yeah